networks. Hey, please give a big hand to the editors of this year's Knutepunkt book. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Now, with any kind of project like this, obviously there are a, uh, a lot of people involved. The book is called Book of Magic, Vibrant Fragments of LARP Practices. Did I get that right? I got that right. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Uh, hello, I am uh, Lars Christian. My name is Kari. My name is Marcus, and uh, together with us in the group is also Nadia Lipsik. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you made a book about LARP, which is something that we occasionally do. You also chose to make it a book about magic. What does this team mean to you? Uh, well, uh, the, uh, the Knutepunkt uh, this year is about where the magic happens. And uh, we wanted to continue with that, but to think about uh, the magic in, in LARP and the, uh, all those moments that we've had, all those weird sort of ephemeral things, whatever it is, that makes us return to LARP again and again and again. Uh, so we wanted people to write about uh, why uh, we make LARPs, where we go to LARPs, uh, uh, tricks and tips to make us uh, get better experiences from LARPs, and also uh, a lot of uh, um, personal texts about memories, about L how LARP has affected us, and, and um, stories like that. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you approach... Uh approach the work, or maybe that is, in fact, part of the answer? Yeah. I, th I think one of the ideas that we started out with was that we wanted to make a book that included at least parts that would um, uh, be interesting to people who don't usually pick up the KP book. I think sometimes when you talk to LARPers, there's a lot of them that don't pick up the book because it used to be very theory heavy. <laughs> and uh, we wanted to focus on player experiences told by, by players and uh, also have shorter and more lighthearted uh, uh, material. Um, now, of course, uh, a question is, when can we read it? How can we read it? <laughs> Especially for the people uh, who are watching online and are like, it's very good, I will need a copy of this right now. Can, th can they get one? There is a phys the physical book is in existence. Yes. Where is the physical book right now? <laughs> the physical book is in a van somewhere between here and Slovenia. Uh, <laughs> totally on its way. <laughs> Very classic KP book experience, I find. <laughs> I feel like this was everything I missed uh, as, uh, as an editor experience <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> before I came to this week. <laughs> but there will be a PDF, and it is coming at the latest uh, next week, uh, as soon as possible after KP. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, I think before I let you go, I would ask... Uh, um, well, I mean, I have two questions. One is, do, is there anything else you desperately need to say? Or that you want us to, like, to entice us with somehow about this book? Yes, uh, of course. This is a very good book. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. and, Spoilers, and, and it is. It is, and uh, that's not our fault, though. It's uh, due to the contributors, obviously. Uh, many of these are uh, in this room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, who, finally, I just want to ask, who is this book dedicated to? Yeah, uh, this year's book is dedicated to the Belarusian uh, LARPing community. Uh, there's a close connection between the Nordic uh, LARP community and the Belarusian ones. And uh, there is a dedication in the book written by uh, Martin Nielsen, uh, Hanna Komar and Janja Saishanka, <laughs> uh, who, who is an artist. Mm. Look forward to it. Yeah. So we can read more about that. and. Um, and uh, yeah, as we celebrate this learning and sharing experience this weekend, let's remember to stand in solidarity with our friends who are going through a very rough time. Thank you so much.